Hello YouTube, it's your girl Christy B here, hanging out in Santa Monica in the park. Just wanted to check in with you. Um, today I want to talk about the top five things you can do when your menstruation is very, very heavy. Okay guys, you know, you can hang in here with me. But, you know, it might be a little graphic. But I would say if you're a guy and you're supporting a woman who has fibroids or endometriosis or any other kind of female reproductive health issues, you may want to tune in and listen. Help a sister out. Give her some information. Pass this video on. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so today I want to talk about... Okay, so first and foremost, you know, everyone knows I am a fibroid sister. I was diagnosed with seven uh, fibroid tumors. Um, that used to hemorrhage immensely. Uh, things were really, 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 really messy and really, really severe um, in the beginning when I was first diagnosed and I didn't know how to take care of myself and I didn't know the proper things to do to help with all the hemorrhaging, which was a result of my estrogen levels spiking and being extremely high and just a plethora of other things that just went on and on and on on a monthly basis. Um, so, and I'm someone who would have, um, my menstruation flow would be anywhere from 7 to 14 to 30 days a month of intense, intense hemorrhaging. So, I've learned a few things over the years and how to get control of these things and uh, live a happy, healthy life. So, the top five things. Okay, so these are the top five things you want to do the week before your menstruation and the week during your administration, okay? So first and foremost, eliminate all meat. All meat, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it again. Eliminate all meat because, well the main culprits are chicken and beef. These products or the animals are, you know, shot up with sex hormones. And you know, if you're a woman that's dealing with these kind of conditions in your reproductive system and your uterus, um, those hormones then get into your body and your bloodstream, and then they spike your hormone levels, and then you know it's a bad scene, the whole situation. So if you can eliminate this, these things, like just you know a week before and the week during, you know that might be a wise thing to consider. Okay, I'm not trying to make you go vegetarian. I'm just saying, you know, that's something that could really help and be very beneficial. The next thing is the same thing in line with the spiking of your estrogen levels is eating soy products. Soy, um, in the beginning, you know, soy was always called a phytonutrient, which means it was a plant-based nutrient. Um, but however, uh, soy as well has the capacity to spike your estrogen levels, which then creates a situation where hemorrhaging can be even more severe than it would be had you not been eating this product. So it's just something to look out for and to be mindful of. Um, you know, and, and you don't have to believe everything I say or anything I say. You know, you could try it yourself. You know, send a shout out to me. Try my tips and let me know, you know, if it works for you. Anyway, so the next thing is drink and eat green 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 look at the world the world the earth the land is green this bench i'm sitting on is green everything is green you want your whole body to be green you want your blood to be green it's beautiful it's it's chlorophyll it's the sun in liquid form you want to get this in your body so the week before you want to eat big green salads the week during, you want to eat big green salads, lots of kale, romaine, cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus. I mean, need I go on and on and on. Green, 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 green. Green juices, green smoothies, anything that you can get in your body that's green. Honey, let me tell you, it makes a body go good, okay? I'm telling you. Um, the next thing, of course, is to drink lots of water during your menstruation and the week before and a week during. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the week before and a week during. Uh, you know, staying hydrated, flushing things out. You know, when most of the time, I feel like women, we're extremely lucky. We have a situation where our bodies naturally eliminate and detox 
for seven days a month. That is a wonderful, beautiful thing so that things don't pile up over the course of time. So you have a natural detoxification system right in your body. And you know, drinking more fluids and getting more water into your body, that's just gonna help to flush all the bad out. The body knows there's some bad in there, okay? Cause that's the whole reason for that. So now just help your body, help you help yourself, okay? Help your body drink more water help your body to flush out all of these horrible toxins and things that shouldn't be in your body. And last but not least, the number five thing I would highly recommend is sit your ass down somewhere. I'm sorry to curse, but if you are on your menstruation and you have fibroid tumors, you have endometriosis, you have issues where you have severe cramping, severe PMS, you flashing on everybody, you mad and pissed off at the world, things don't feel right, you don't feel good, you're bloated, and you're hemorrhaging beyond belief, you need to sit down somewhere, okay? If I could do it all again, I can't tell you, oh my God, I was like a energizer bunny. I just would not stop. I had a full-time job. I was doing theater every night a week. You know, there was a time when I was doing shows every night. I, there was one summer I did like summer stock. So I'm working Monday through Friday, nine to five, and then I would leave and go jump straight on the bar. I was in the Bay Area at the time, jump on the bar and then go do a show. And then on the weekends, all I did was dance and sing the whole weekend, day and night. So I never got any rest. And if I could do that all over again, you know, I'm happy where I am in my life right now, and I'm happy I had went through that process. But had I known, you know, if I had a fairy god YouTube big sister like myself to tell me, baby girl, sit down, rest, take care of yourself, love your body, you know? When you're in your menstruation, first of all, just being in your menstruation under normal circumstances is, is a time that a woman should be relaxing and taking it easy. And I know we got to take care of the kids and you got to go to work and you got to go to school. We have all these obligations in this modern world that we live in. But when you are suffering from something like fibroids, especially the reason why you have these fibroids, one of the reasons is stress, you know? So if you are hemorrhaging beyond belief and you got to put on five pads and three tampons, you need to sit down somewhere, you know, lay down, get a book, catch some Netflix, catch up on, you know, Orange and New Black, look for Christy B somewhere on some movie or some commercial, you feel me, and just chill out, you know, it's okay. It's okay to take that time for yourself. I think it's really important. We're always made to feel guilty about taking care of our bodies and taking care of ourselves. Like it's some kind of sign of weakness. But I think that, um, you know, when, you're, when you need healing, you need healing. If you need to sit down and be quiet and be still, then you need to sit down and be quiet and be still. So I say all of my tips with all love all light, all grace, all everything. I love everybody. I love the world. I love my life. So I just wanted to say hello. It's been a long time and I'm going to try to start making videos in a more consistent um, time frame and talk about all the different topics that I have inside of me to talk about. So um, please enjoy. Go on my YouTube at, you know, um, what is it? Holistic Urbanite. <laughs> and you can catch me on Instagram at Holistic Urbanite. Twitter is Holistic Urby. Uh, Facebook, I'm Crystal Bush on Facebook. Um, but if you want to reach out to me, you know, if you have any other questions or if you just, um, you know, if you try my tips, please let me know how it went, you know, next month. Uh, how, how it goes.